What's up, YouTube? Marvin Four here with Great American Survival, and in this week's episode, we're going to be talking all about the GSI Glacier Stainless Steel Commuter Java Press. This thing's awesome. I've really enjoyed it. It makes a great cup of coffee. Hope you'll stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. So if you're anything like me, I love a good cup of coffee. Now this cup, this coffee press is really nice. The Java Press from GSI Outdoors is really nice. Like I stated before, I've reviewed quite a few of theirs and I've even reviewed quite a few that I never published just because I didn't really like the press. This one right here is not like that. This one actually is quite exceptional. I've been nothing but happy with it. Uh, we enjoyed it on our last trip. We took it on vacation. I wasn't sure if the place we were gonna stay was gonna have a coffee maker. And also it's usually me drinking coffee, maybe my, my son or his girlfriend. And uh, this was perfect. The outer craft has a wonderful non-slip rubber foot. It has a good circumference diameter of uh, four inches, which makes it where it fits in just about all cup holders, which is perfect. That's what you want. The outer cylinder is painted in this power, wonderful powder coating that's held up pretty well. I've taken it on a couple backpacking trips and not, not much on it, you know. It's got a wonderful little um, handle tether or whatever you want to call it. It allows you to clip it to your backpack, hang it off of that, stick it in one of your sleeves. Honestly, there's it's whatever you want. And it's, yes, it's plastic, but it's really well made. Uh, I haven't, I, like I said, it hasn't broke yet, so I'm hoping it never will but the press itself is exceptional. I really do like it. It has three main pieces. Oops, hold on. Now that's one thing I do like about that. I'm gonna show you since I'm here talking about it right now. This seals so well, as you saw, I tried to pull it apart. And as long as that cap's open, uh, closed, once you open it, it'll just pull right out, just like that. But it's got a great seal. That's what you want in the travel press. You don't want this thing leaking all over your gear all over your backpack, all over your uh, computer at work, whatever, you, if you just throw it in your drawer, you don't want it to leak, you want it to hold. Uh, this one's been in bags, I've never had it leak, which has been nothing but impressive. I really like it, the in inner inside. I know a lot of people say they wish it had graduation marks so you could measure, but this one honestly right here doesn't need that because it's it's a it's a press. If you put a bunch of marks on the inside, it's gonna take away, and it's gonna make it where it's gonna, you're gonna end up with more coffee grounds in your coffee. We don't want that. We'd rather have a good setup for coffee. Now with this, I'm gonna throw three heaping teaspoons of Bones coffee in here. We're gonna be putting in 16 ounces of water and making a great cup of coffee. That was weird. Did you guys, could you guys hear that? That is wild. I've never heard it had it made that noise. It's making a funky noise. That's wild. Well, I'm assuming it's because it's boiling, it's making a weird noise. So we're gonna take it off of water. Yeah, that must have been what it is. That's pretty cool. I've never noticed that. I don't think that's intentional. I don't have like a rolling boil going. So back to the coffee. The inner part of the craft is stainless steel, has a wonderful stainless steel mesh screen on the bottom and another O-ring which makes it where you're not gonna end up with any of that grit. It does have a stainless steel filter, so you are gonna end up with a full bodied cup of coffee. It's not gonna, you know, it's gonna have body in it. It's not just gonna be, you know, a nice smooth cup. It's gonna have a little more thickness to it. If you, you know, if that's not your thing, then you might not wanna try this one. But this one's gonna give you all the oils and all that that you get from a good cup of coffee. The inner part of this has a nice little one turn, one whole rotation cap, which is good. So you're not gonna sit there and spin, 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 spin. We don't want that. And then the seal, the cap has a nice little seal here. And then it also has the sliding seal, which has, you know, a little gasket inside of it, which allows it to seal tightly. It's been nothing but impressive. Like I said, I love the fact that it seals tight and it's not an issue. I'm not gonna leak anything. Now, being our water is hot enough, we will be taking our water. We're going to pour it in our press. I 
uh, fill it up right up to the stainless steel part to where it ends. This right here is when it's full, it's over 16 ounces, but so we can afford to let just a little bit. I'm gonna stir this real quick. I'm gonna stir it up just so I get all those coffee all nice and saturated, just letting them all just open up their flavor and just get it all going. Just wake them up. That's what we want. Nice. Now we're gonna let it sit for about 60 to 90 seconds, depending on how you like to do your coffee, but me, about 60 seconds and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So while we're waiting for that to happen, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the specifics. Uh, the craft itself, the whole thing is 8.6 inches, which is 218 millimeters in length, including the inner press from tip to tip. It is four inches around and three inches across. So 102 millimeters, uh, cent millimeters around and 77 millimeters across. Weighs 13.2 ounces, which is 374 grams. And it has a fluid capacity of 14.3 fluid ounces or 420 milliliters. Very nice, very well made, and I really like this press. Now, we're gonna pop this in and press it on down. And I like this about it. As you see, it's got a little twist notch and that's it. It's not real elaborate when it comes to the press. You don't have to do a whole lot of turning. It's just turn, lock, go. Just like that, we're gonna take ours. I do have some milk in here and some sweet and low. This is my evening cup of coffee. So, as you guys see, nice full-bodied roast. Nice, now this is one thing, let me, before I get to my coffee. Now, the one thing I will say is right there, like I said, is when you go to pour, it doesn't have that little indent that makes it that much a little e more easy to funnel it to an area. It wants to back lug and kind of roll back into this, which is really good when you're talking about being able to narrowly store this in like a hydration sleeve or something like that. That's always great, but that itself, that's the, probably the only negative I have about this press. Makes a great cup of coffee. I'm gonna start on this. Man, that's good. Guys, when I'm looking for a coffee press, I would prefer my coffee press to be able to store my coffee and not just make my coffee. I want to be able to take it with me. So even if I, like if I made one cup, filled this up and took this on the hike with me and was walking and drinking, I can make another press, another two cups, press it in this, close it up. Now it only says to keep stuff warm for three hours and cold for three hours, but I haven't had a problem. I'm not one of those people my coffee goes cold usually because I usually drink it pretty quick. But to be able to take it on the trail with you, another two cups of coffee already mixed and made so you can just pour it in something if you wanted to, if you have something you like to take with you, that's awesome. Guys, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, comment down below and tell me what you guys think. If you have a coffee press that you use when you backpack, tell me about it. Tell me what you use. I might already have it. But if I don't, I love finding out about new stuff, new tech, new coffee makers, new coffee cups. You just tell me what you, th what you think. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it the old thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe. We'd love to have you be part of our community, especially if you'd like. Go over, follow us on social media. We're on Facebook and on Instagram. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. We couldn't do this without you. Thank you. I hope you have a great week. Make sure you get out there. Enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon. Back up. <laughs> That's funny, dude.